Man. Well, we hit 100 subscribers. Thank you. It's a big milestone. It's our first milestone with YouTube. And, well, chores got to get done. darn it I busted a shear pin on my brush hog hit a dirt mound or something and and I busted it so here's the, the busted part came out so I got to figure out now how to replace it I mean that's what these things are for so you don't bust anything you know you you break the shear pin instead this whole uh, guard this plastic guard here and it looks like it shot the end of the bolt up here the broken part and busted that out uh, but then there's this opening here I can open up and look inside makes it easier I guess to replace the shear pin here's that hole right there you can see it and the pins in there so I think I just need to pop that out and put a new one in there but I gotta go get a new one I popped it out. Here it is, right here. There's the hole. So I gotta go get a new one of these. <sighs> Yay! That just puts a damper on things. It slows me down. I only have so many hours a day to work on this after work. These gloves here, these uh, vibration, anti-vibration, they're intra-fit. I bought them on Amazon. These gloves are great. I had a friend who uh, suggested I buy these anti-vibration gloves um, after I was complaining about my arms feeling like rubber after being on the tractor all day long and even just weed whacking all day long along the fence line, around the barn. And these vibration gloves, they really do work. I like them. I really do like them. I just got these on Amazon, so I'll put a link down below so you can uh, look at them. Uh, but they're they're definitely comfortable. Um, I, I saw a bunch of others at like one of the local stores around here, and they just felt hard and and thick and uncomfortable. But these here, they're actually really really flexible, comfortable. They're thick padding in the palms with the uh, whatever kind of padding that is. That's the anti vibration. Um, but they're they're intra fit and they they work great. I suggest. <music> All right, so this is where we left off yesterday. Broke the shear bolt by hitting a gopher mound or some kind of mound of dirt that was solid and broke the bolt. So I had to go up and buy a new one. This is a shear pin bolt. Bought this at the dealer. Bought a bunch of them, 287 a piece, but bought a bunch of them so I have them on hand so I don't have a situation again like I had last night where it puts me out of work for until the next day. So, let's put this in. Okay, so I just need to get up in here and align this shaft. There we go, there's the hole there. That looks pretty good. And then let's put the bolt through it. That was pretty easy. And then put the nut on the other side. There's the other side of it. 
So this nut is a locking nut. So once I get on there tight, be on the edge of the end of the threads, it'll lock on there nice. Well, it got dark on me. Got about an acre mode tonight, that's about it. But I had another slow start. After replacing that shear bolt, I didn't get but maybe five minutes and it broke again. It's a good thing I bought many of them. I figured out why. I realized that when I put the quick hitch on, it's a different setup. So it put the brush hog my rotary cutter here at a different angle and I didn't catch that. So when I was using this lever here to raise and lower it, I was before putting it at one at the very bottom to get it low to the ground to cut the grass you know, as low as I can get it. But now with the quick hitch on it, it changed everything and I needed to readjust to put it at three. That's the new number there, three. And I think it's because the quick hitch here, the bolt is at a different level for one thing. This is where it used to attach into the, the actual uh, pins to the cutter were here um, in the, the um, sway bar here. And this is a little bit lower now than this. And also it's further out. And because it's further out, I think it's causing a bit of a problem and I think the angle here was a little bit off um, and the way this setup is is just a little bit different so here at, at a three you can see that it's fairly level and with the wheel on the back there but if it was all the way down it was angling you know downward and then it was digging into those piles of dirt and that pile in the, the blade at an angle because it was at an angle into the mound is what caused the shear pin to break. I'm going to lower this to all the way to the ground and now you can see it's at a different angle and you can see the quick hitch is at a slightly you know angled down um, so I need to figure out why there's probably some adjustments oh and look at this right here that's not supposed to be like that this got twisted out, I think. And that's probably why, because that was supposed to be, this This nut is supposed to be tight to the um, to here. And, he, and it looks like this has, yeah, I just need to tighten this up to pull this in and raise it. Somehow this spun out. Anyway. So it's all about adjusting that deck to get it level. That was my big problem. Mm -hmm.